What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video, and today we are going to talk about Captain Marvel. Brie Larson cannot stop running her mouth. Brie Larson cannot stop getting woke. So, I've not really had a lot of interest in this movie to begin with. Um, I do like the MCU. Uh, I have problems with the MCU, but Infinity War was fantastic. Uh, definitely the best Marvel movie to date, and Infinity War is an all-timer for me. But the more Brie Larson talks, the more I have to see her in these trailers and these TV spots, the more I find myself just not caring about this movie. But I would said, you know, I guess I'll go see the movie just so I can do a review on it and talk about it. I'm not going to waste my, my money on this movie. I'm just not going to do it. And Brie Larson has ran her mouth again. So let's read what she said. She says... The movie, this, or let's see, the movie was the biggest and best opportunity I could have ever asked for, Larson says, in a new interview with InStyle. It was like my superpower. This could be my form of activism, doing a film that can play all over the world and be in more places than I can, physic than I can be physically. And what does Larson mean when she says that this film can be seen as a form of activism? The Oscar winner says that portraying a strong, independent, and supremely powerful superhero that happens to be a whammy will not only inspire others, but also give the means to her fame for good. First off, she wants to create a pipeline for women and people of color to join in various roles in the production of film. My next goal is to start a school and train people. Like, I'm so, why are you, I'm, I'm done. Why are you so obsessed with race and gender? How about the best people for positions? Get them. How about that? But again, it's all about identity politics. You are playing a superhero within the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and your idea is to make this a form of activism. This is what you want to pull. You want to sit there and talk about you're going to make this a political propaganda statement. Well, go ahead and do that, Brie Larson. You're not getting my money. Call it a boycott. Call it whatever the hell you want. I really don't care. All I know is that I, as a consumer, I, as a fan of these properties, I, as someone that looks at these characters and thinks a lot of them and wants to see them honored, don't want your politics in it. I don't care what the politics are. Leave that shit out of it. And Brie Larson is obsessed with being a racist person because she point blank said she does not care about the opinion of white men. Imagine if she would have said she doesn't care about the opinion of black men. Imagine if I would have said I don't care about the opinion of black women. Imagine if I would have said anything remotely close to that. How would that be portrayed? But it's okay because she's a whammon and she's on the right side of, or so I guess the left side of the political landscape. So that makes it okay for the SJWs and the NPCs and the mainstream media. They don't want to call this out. So you can do what you want with your money. And if you go see Captain Marvel, you have my blessing. I have no problem with that. You don't have to answer to me about anything you do with your money. I am not going to see Captain Marvel because Brie Larson can kiss my ass. Because if that's what she wants to do, if she wants to make racist statements about white people, and if she wants to make this her form of activism, then go right ahead, Brie. I'll keep my money. And uh, you go ahead and you do whatever works for you and uh, I'll do what works for me and everybody else can do what works for them. And if Captain Marvel's a big success, congratulations. And if it flops, then good for, good for you, know, you, I guess, for uh, killing off another franchise. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Have a great day and we will talk to you later.